keeping it weird and Western. The ads for the rodeo this year and the events are in full swing. Nick Sacone's out at the Expo Center and he's got the update for us. Morning, Nick. Morning, Joe. You know, this is a highlight for a lot of people. They get to come out here once a year. They get to look at cows, sheep, goats, and all that good stuff. But for some students, it's an everyday thing that gets pretty wild. <gasps> it's fitting for a high school. The animals are as rambunctious as teenagers. Maybe it's because they're raised by teenagers. Round Rock's McNeil High School has a healthy Future Farmers of America program. Nearly 100 students, 70 animals. And they all have personalities. Take Lenny the lamb. He's really sweet sometimes. Like, I can put a muzzle on him and he'll follow me around the farm. But he's big Freddy cat. Alex Kipple's a junior. Come on. She keeps Lenny in shape, hitting the track and taking him jogging. Alex is getting Lenny in shape, so he looks good at the big dance, the auction at the Star of Texas Fair and Rodeo. The balance of your animal between like the rack and the loin, and um, if it's muscular, just how good the lamb muscle tone is. Snickers is a goat. Kirby Anderson says raising these animals takes hard work. A lot of time, dedication, and work. Students come before class, after school, in the rain, in the cold, and even on days off. We don't just come in whenever we want. It's not like, it's an actual, like, a, almost like a human being. Like, you're not going to eat at 2 o'clock for breakfast. So you got to get out here for 9 a.m. breakfast, just like you do for school. Doesn't matter if you got a field trip or whatever, you get here early, feed before that. If I got to be here at 7.15 to cheer, I got to be here at 6.45 to feed a goat. The animals are bought at the beginning of the school year. Piglets, for example, cost about $400. The students raise them and auction them for up to $2,000. Pretty good profit that can set students up with scholarships. Students like Landy Warren say there are things more important than the money. All their new friends that they met going to shows, that they met at school, learning about different people. The ones on two legs and on four who are so friendly, one of them even gave our camera a big sloppy kiss. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Looks like a lot of fun, right? Looks like a lot of work. Some of those kids are going to join us here in a half an hour. And hey, Joe, get this. You can imagine with all the animals out here, there's a, a lot of uh, byproduct, right? Yeah. Well, organics, by gosh, collects it all. Uh, and they turn it into compost, fertilizer, yeah. right? Yeah. I like all that. Those kids are really dedicated. I like looking at those animals. That's the best part of it for me. Thanks, Nick. You bet. All right. Check.